Chapter 6 of Brave New World continues as Bernard and Lenina take the Blue Pacific rocket to New Mexico and spend the night in a full-service luxury hotel in Santa Fe. Lenina's ecstatic when she sees every possible beauty, <gasps> relaxation, and contraceptive item laid out on the table. The next morning, they meet with the warden of the reservation so he can sign their permit. Leering at Lenina, he explains that there's no escape and that birth still exists on the reservation. Lenina swallows a Soma tablet so her brain will relax. Bernard suddenly remembers that he left his eau de cologne tap running in his apartment, and he phones Helmholtz, who promises to stop by his place to turn off the machine. But Helmholtz passes along some bad news. The director intends to exile Bernard to Iceland. Furious with himself and his superior, Bernard swallows four Soma tablets. From the plane, he sees the electrified fence that keeps the savages in and kills wild animals before passing out from all of the Soma. Lenina's overjoyed with the array of accessories the hotel offers, saying, progress is lovely, isn't it? Bernard understands his girlfriend hates anything that makes her unhappy. The news of his pending exile strips him of his earlier courage. He wasn't worried about being banished when he was feeling so emboldened by the director's indiscretion. He felt the incident offered him ammunition against hostile action, but now he realizes that his smugness hid the director's power, and he should have taken his threat seriously. The power of society's effects on individuals is revealed in the pilot's derisive comment regarding the bones near the electric fence surrounding the reservation. They never learn, he says, and they never will. The implication here is that he's not speaking only about the animals, but about the humans confined to the reservation. The warden's presence, as well as the electrified fence and gas bombs, all indicate that Malpais, evil country, is a prison and not just a home for Native Americans. <laughs>